Nigeria's final line. So good morning everyone. I'm Chi Wei and I'm a first year medical student from UKM, the National University of Malaysia. And while I'm approaching the end of my year one studies, I thought it would be cool to show you guys the mode of learning that we have in medical school. And I'll be bringing you guys throughout this week and next week to show you what we do in uni. So right now, I'm on the way to my 8 a.m. lecture in the pre-clinical block. So yeah, it's 7.45 now and let's go. <laughs> Welcome, see? Hello. <laughs> Okay, just walk straight and walk straight. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that is our pre clinical block. So, right now we're just gonna keep walking straight and then turn left and we will be there. Almost there. <laughs> we are here. Oh, oh Toby. Hi, Chibi. The red one is what we call as anterior spinal line. The blue one. So what do you think this one? What is air structure at your throat? Trachea. Start with T. Trachea. Trachea. So this is your trachea. Can I eat my mouse? Okay. This is your trachea. And your tummy. Right? So behind the trachea, there is a soft tissue and also the bone here. I'm having my white coat on because the next destination that I'm going to bring you guys to is the dissection hall um, but I couldn't bring you guys in uh, due to restrictions and we're not allowed to film inside but yeah just to let you all know that we're actually going to the dissection hall to learn anatomy and there would be cadavers so the next um, the session that I will be attending later we will be studying uh, about the foot, the lower limb and the foot and also the hands so like the bones, the muscles, the tendons of the hands and yeah, it's actually one of my favourite parts of medical school uh, to be able to actually see like real specimens so I'm sure those aspiring medical students like you um, this is one of the parts of medical school that you guys are most looking forward to so we're going to the dissection hall right now we are going to the dissection hall. Dissection hall. Dissection hall. You can go to dissection hall. Yeah. Happy. 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 In the dissection hall, there's this chemical called formalin and it is very very smelly. So yeah. It's okay when you all come into medical school you guys will get what I mean. Taking attendance. Yeah, this is the dissection hall. Hi! <laughs> We're ready, Siani. Why? 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 Why?
So problem-based learning is known as PBL and basically what we do is we will receive a trigger that there's a case presented to us and then we will have to come up with the hypothesis like let's say like this person is presented with a swollen ankle and then we have to find out the cues which is what are the signs and symptoms and then we have to come up with the hypothesis and learning issues yeah so and we'll get like patient information sheets it's very very interesting so basically what i'm showing you here now is session one where we come up with our learning issues and in session two we will be presenting them in front of the doctors So in PPA, this PPA module, it's personal and professional advancement. So basically, we learn interpersonal skills, uh, how we should behave as doctors and also training our EQ. Basically, what they're doing now is role-playing because we have an exam called OSCE, O-S-E, OSCE. And we will have to like, they will give us simulated patients and we will have to like, counsel them. The part of being a medical student is... <laughs> It's learning how to. It's screen, okay. Yeah. What well, is learning how to edit videos and then become filmmakers? Don't know how many videos we have made already. Two, one. My turn next. Now to the doctor. Doctor Thor. Introduce yourself, you are. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I am, I am a photographer who somehow entered in med school. Yeah, scriptwriter. He's our PBL leader. Wow. Yeah, I forgot to mention that part of medical school, they require you to watch movies and then write reflective essays of it. So, this movie, The Good Doctor, eh, I mean The Doctor. Yeah, it is a like sort of an assignment for our clinical skills learning, clinical science learning module. Yeah, so after that we have to write a reflective essay la, on like patient and doctor relationship. Good movie, two hours. No, I I think what the story wants to this movie wants to tell us is that to be a good doctor, you have to first understand your patients. Yeah. So like at the end, he wanted his 
trainees to dress up in the patient in the patient gown and then like experience what the patient because you know actually this one reminded me of like an experience I had because before going to medical school I shadowed a doctor and like I you know like throughout my shadowing period I had this feeling gansu but I couldn't like pinpoint what was it and I think I saw I I think this movie reflected it is that you know when I was there observing everything happening it's patients right they are so vulnerable like when they are on the bed when they are lying down on the surgical table they are so vulnerable and doctors are literally the people that they put all their hopes on you know like i don't know how to describe it's like you're so vulnerable and the doctor is the only person that you can trust at that such a vulnerable state so uh, at the moment i was think i thought that like wow i mean to be a doctor is so the responsibility is so special and to be that person in charge when that and when a patient when a normal human being is at their most vulnerable state like how say you're so privileged to be in that position and i don't think not everyone can be in that position then i feel like you have to be a good doctor because all these people they are putting their hopes their trust and their lives on your hands so So the next mode of learning is known as meet the expert and we call it MES and we basically do it in our magma which is our lab and we all have to wear lab coats usually one MES group will have around 18 people and what we do is basically before going for the session we will be given a worksheet to complete and during the session the expert which is the doctor in charge will be discussing the answers with us and we'll be learning it together Okay, right now I'm heading to my next PBL session which is the problem-based learning. So we actually have two sessions. So the one that we watched, you guys watched before was the first session. And now I'm heading to the second session where we will be discussing about the learning issues. So it would be a table discussion uh, where we talk about um, talk about uh, the findings that we have. Yeah. Anchor join. Yeah, I and I. See, I draw, 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 right? And then you know what I came up with? <laughs> I wanted. To... I wanted to draw an extra lotto, but then it turned out to be this. I don't know. Okay. What the hell is this? I just edit this. The next one would be the anatomy of the leg and foot. So I'll be covering the anatomy of the leg first, uh, specifically the bones and muscles. So we know that uh, the leg, we have the tibia and fibula, where the, uh, whereby the tibia is in the medial, medial side and then the fibula is at the lateral side. And now we go to the muscles. Uh, so in uh, the com we have three compartments of the leg, which is the anterior compartment, lateral compartment and posterior compartment. And it's important to know what muscles are classified in which compartment because they usually are innervated by the same nerves and also uh, the, they, they have they supply to the same action. Yeah, so it's like, easier for us to remember. Uh. So this is a look at where it originates, where it inserts. For example, if you have a naturally you have the peroneus longus, peroneus brevis. Eh? So what happens when it contracts? You will pull it. 
you will get H. So what is this action called? Eversion. Wait, wait. Eversion. Eversion, correct. So the action of it is to ikut eversion lah. So boleh bayar kalau patient yang ada, let's say, superficial peroneal nerve injury. What happens to the patient? He cannot even know. He cannot even know. So that's the significance of knowing origin, insertion and the nerve. So in this PBL session, it's about musculoskeletal, hence we will have to draw a lot since it's easier to explain visually. And we will take turns in discussing different learning issues and discuss as mentioned before. Right now what you're looking at is actually our concept map. So at the end of every PBL session, we will have to present our concept map as a whole from the start to the end, from the trigger until the treatment and management basically. So for me, I also had a lot of fun in this PBL as well as the previous ones of course. But I feel like every time when we're having PBL together, like like what she said, lah, we did separate. But I believe everyone uh, did their did the necessary research, and then every time it's always an active discussion. So it's very fun, and uh, like the PBL is like interactive and not boring uh, and progressing from our first PBR until now uh, you can see how our concept map has evolved <laughs> yeah so it's like right now I, I understand what is concept map and I feel like uh, we have like um, quite a complete discussion hopefully so uh, yeah good luck for EOM and EOS guys thank you so much okay, so I would like to say thank you to everyone for being supportive to be honest uh, every first session, right? You can see sometimes I was very quiet because I really didn't know what to say because I was very blurred during the first session. And then at the second session, so I find it involved uh, when I'm not sure you all can, you all did like conform with me like, the concept. So that's a very good thing. And then another thing is the concept that involved like what Chi Wei said. And last thing is all the best for your M and your S. See you all. See you all in year two. Tell me that you really think it's the end. Cause what is med school without exams? No. <laughs> this is like five minutes before we need to leave the room to go to the exam hall. <laughs> Never give up. 
，我还是要去读一下我的 N C。We are just joking. How can you give up? Cannot give up. No, no, no. 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 No, close the door. I don't want to go. But you have to. Yeah, you have to take the challenge. Don't run away. Yes. Life philosophy. Don't. Yeah. Wait. Go out. Stop filming. You have to face it. Yes. Just try your best. You try your best already. Let God do the rest. Okay. Yes. Hey, you saw that she's outside. Oh, thank you. I should wear. Look, we have a, we have a mirror. Yes. We fight for this. Okay, lah. Let's go. Put a lot of effort into it. Yes. Essay, 50 percent eh. 我用自己的心思在做 MSK 的模仿。Yes， 我也是哎，我平时都不做那种。如果他真的跟我不好的话，我就会哭了。哇！阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，拜神！大家拜拜神，拜神来，拜神一下！哦耶 ！MSK。哇，那这个应该没有事情了，这个也应该没有事情了，应该也是没有，这个影展也是没有。Alright, so that's my year one of med school in a nutshell and I really hope that it's insightful for you and also I hope you're excited for your new journey. Congratulations to those who got into medical school through UPU or direct intake. It's gonna be a really amazing journey and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Once again, welcome to medical school.